Egro, hi baby. Egro, oh you're such a bad girl. Egro. Okay. In my gutted kitchen, <laughs> making some garlic. <clears throat> I'm gonna plant these too. I left these out on the side. And um, onions. Sliced up four big baking potatoes. I used about two sizes like this of garlic, chopped up kind of thick. So I'm going to let this cook down. Brags. Himalayan sea salt. Cracked pepper. And that's it because it's a stick, a stainless, uh, I'm sorry guys, I'm tired a stickless pan or whatever you call it. I usually use my iron skillets um, and there's no oil in this and I'm just slowly I wouldn't call them fried potatoes because there's no oil basically they're simmered potatoes and they will get brown they just take some time and it's slower but it's a hundred percent healthier for you um, guys if you are craving fried potatoes and you want to make them healthy, this is the way to go. And you see I'm not using front pan, I'm using a thick, um, what do you call this? It's a thicker, larger saucepan. So it's been a long, hot day. I've been fighting with my youngest daughter about a whole bunch of garbage. Ugh. So I came home, cleaned off the stove, and just started cooking. Because when I'm stressed out, that's what I like to do best. I should own a bakery, right? Uh, it's just been crazy. Had the other house fumigated for fleas. That's where the warehouse is with the books. And front yard, backyard. Just not the backyard, but the front yard. The backyard is fine. Had this house fumigated about a, two weeks, three weeks ago. It's costly. But, um, yeah, I had to do it. Hey guys, Bob, you go, you go, Bob. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do when they see new floors, huh? Should have had that for lunch. Anyway, guys, I was just checking in and showing you my oilless fried potatoes. Um, and hopefully the garlic and the brags will bring out the really great flavors. And just cook them slow and stir them frequently. And um, the big garlic will cook down. And um, we're out in the backyard right now getting ready for a garden. They're building the box right now. See what my lovely honey sent to me? Oh, that was really pretty. It's a new set. Okay. So, yeah. That's what they're doing right now. Hi, Tia. No. Hi, Tia. Oh, we're trying one of these these tomatoes and herbs and tomato thingies but he's gonna build a box over here for my garden that's what he's doing now it's pretty hot so back to turning my potatoes hey Bobby <laughs> he's not camera shy he had a fluffy bath yesterday along with you though so that's what's going out there. They've got the hammers going, the electric ones, and the real ones, and the fake ones. And they're digging, building me a planter box. I just wanted to put some dirt in the ground to start growing some stuff, and he has to do it his way. So, and he was mad when I asked him, we're gonna have the girls move the dirt. Oh my God, he threw a fit. He threw his game down. He did this. He did that. Unbelievable how he has these tantrums. He was adopted. And I don't know if his adopted parents um, let him have these kind of weird tantrums. Get away with stuff. Or that's how he ended up getting stuff because of tantrums. I just look at him and go, you're a grown ass man. 59 years old. And so... I'm <laughs> just like, God, I hear him out there banging stuff. Anyway, 
Sorry, guys, I lost my train of thought with my mom. Here's my non oil potatoes. They look very good. I added maybe a teaspoon more of the Bragg's and it sizzled them right up. So it's almost like that's the oil, but we know it's not. There's no oil in it. Soy. It smells delicious. I think it's the garlic and of course the onions breaking down slowly. I go in between um, less than medium and then I put it up here and then I stir them again and then I put them down here and they kind of just simmer and get tender. <clears throat> I'm happy with them. For just some potatoes I had around the house. Um, let's go back and look at my planter box. Number two. He's already got number one done. <laughs> there's number one over there and then this is number two and he's going to put number two